Welcome to the Twist News. I'm Erica Gray. This is part two of a special briefing with LNET and the IDF. And an IDF soldier gave some harrowing reports of the situation on the ground. And he started by showing this police station and the damage that had been done. And he stated that there were several active shooter scenes, three infiltrations, that there had been a million targets in Gaza. He hoped that people would share the images, share the events that are unfolding. 800 people have been murdered by Hamas, that the infiltration is unprecedented and that they're doing everything to rescue and defend and more terrorists are popping up and the, there is the likelihood of it escalating to a bigger conflict, that a lot of civilians have been killed and taken as hostage. And many of these are foreign nationals. That's right. Many of those taken hostage are foreign nationals. This is not just Israelis that are being taken, but also citizens of other countries including Americans. And of course, footage of the German woman who was raped and her mother is appealing for information now about what has happened to her. So this is not just Israelis. This is also visiting tourists who happen to be in Israel who have been taken hostage. The soldier stated that the middle of the city neighborhood was infiltrated with vehicles that there was shooting, firing, burning, and civilians, all civilians in the middle of this city. And he recounted the story of a grandmother pleading and that this event is unprecedented, that this is Israel's 9-11 and all options are on the table and the IDF is on high alert and all of Israel's defense systems are on. And they are firing back at all military places and structures where Hamas is located. And that they're going to spend long days and long hours, but that they will get the job done. And that when this started, immediately all security forces were alerted. The West Bank is ready on multiple fronts. That they are prepared for anything that can go on. What you got the picture of from his reporting was a horrific, unprecedented, large scale terrorist attack that literally is unimaginable that this could have both been planned and executed. This is what Israel is now dealing with. The IDF spokesman stated how encouraged the soldiers are when they're being brought food and encouraged. And he told the story of one soldier who just lost his son two days ago in this conflict. And he stated that he can't bury his son, but that he chose to be there with his soldiers and in this conflict. And this spokesperson was encouraged by the dedication that he's seeing on the part of Israel's soldiers volunteering to fight giving everything that they've got, but that the people listening to what's going on, that we are the ambassadors. We are the ambassadors and need to act as the ambassadors. I talked about in a previous video, how videos that I do on behalf of Israel are demoted in YouTube. So please get the word out, share this video and of what's really going on on the ground in Israel, of what the people of Israel are actually facing. This is horrific. In the face of this, countries in the Middle East are celebrating and dancing and talking about an occupation, which by the way, that's going to be the subject of a video, this quote unquote occupation and what this really means and what they're really saying when they say occupation because there's been a lot of misinformation in the media about what's actually going on. And unfortunately, channels that are trying to talk about these things 
all are low in number and that's not a coincidence. So stay tuned for more. There's going to be another video, a part three of more that was stated at this briefing. So if you don't subscribe to The Twist, subscribe today, check out our Amazon store and stay tuned for part three.